Hey, what is up, everybody? Thank you for joining me on my play of Death Road to Canada. Um, it's basically a zombie Oregon Trail type survival game. Um, it's just a lot of fun and kind of random. So, yeah, anyways, let's hit the road and do this. All right, to start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from the nearby location. In order to survive the Death Road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You also need to find ways to train and grow your team. I always feel like Yalmart is the best place to start off with. There always seems to be a lot of food there. All right. And let's see. I've got a hatchet. You have nothing. All right. Um, what is your status? Trait charming, big bruiser. Oh, I think... That means she's like a fighter and can punch real hard. But let's go. I wonder if I give her a weapon, if she'll even use it, because sometimes if they like fighting with their fists, they don't even use the stuff you give them. Now let's see what goodies we get in Walmart. A bunch of food right off the bat, nice. I want some med. Rubber mallet. But dang, she is really just punching those guys. She is friggin' strong. Alright, what do we got in here? A bunch of zombies in the bathroom. And absolutely nothing in here. Onto the, oh, there's a zombie right there. Alright, what's this? A cricket bat or something? Oh, nice. I'm actually going to give her something right now. Give her the mallet, see what she does with it. There's something there? No. There's zombie parts. Alright, oh, something in the toilet down here. Some gas, nice. Alright, and I think that was it in here now. Oh, nope, just a little bit of food left down here. Alright. Well, not too bad of a haul. Go back to the car and see what else the road has in store for us. Alright, let's go. I was hoping to nab a little bit more food than that, but oh well. Exhausted after an extra long drive, the group scouts a camping spot and falls asleep immediately after. The group reaches the city as it starts to rain. The drizzle seems to rile up the local zombies. Sporting goods store or hardware store? Might be able to find some guns at the uh, sporting goods store, so let's go there. Let's go. It's an aluminum bat, alright. Oh my goodness, there are quite a few in here. Don't get trapped, don't get trapped. Oh crap, I just got bit. I was all worried about my teammate than I was myself, and I uh, got myself in trouble. Let's just clear him out. Oh, you got a tennis racket now, okay. Air horn, some golf club. You know, some food here. Nice. Gun. I don't want to use that unless I have to. Come on, let's just do some damage. Slow and steady wins the race. I really want to go check out what's in that door over there, but I don't want to get trapped with all these guys right now. Especially with us getting tired. I'm going to go for it. Hopefully they're not that fast. Where we got? Uh, okay, cool. I can lead them around if I need to. Which looks like we'll be able to get out of here. All right, cool. She made it out. And what do we got in here? A lot of nothing. Ammo. Oh my god, it takes forever to kill him. My guy is weak. 
take these guys out. Alright, what do we got over here? Nothing. Well, hopefully there's more than just... Oh, that might have been it. Well, shoot. Oh, wait, no, maybe there's something over here. Yeah, there's something over here. Cool. So we need a little bit more than just that. Is she coming? Cool, she, yeah, she's here. Oh, my goodness, there are a lot of them coming in. Let's take care of these guys up here. So that way don't get us with our backs turned. Let's take out a couple of these guys. Shotgun shells, nice. And over here, absolutely nothing. Well, I mean, I did get a gun, so that's good at least, but... Oh, yeah, food. Alright. I was really hoping for. Cool, take those guys out. search around this house a little bit more and get out of here. That guy takes a lot of hits. Nothing in here. What do we got over here? Eat chair. But that zombie really just like can't pop him through the door like I'm here. Just like popped out. down here. Nothing. Alright, well I've cleared this place out. I think it is time to hit the road. Come on, let's go. 11 food, not bad. Careful with our gas. The group gets frustrated because the CD player in the car is jammed, playing the same song over and over again. You should try and repair it. I think I have mechanical skills, so I'll give it a shot. I remove the CD player and puzzle over how to fix it. He doesn't manage to repair it. The CD player remains broken and annoying. Yeah, that's good. group goes against their judgment and camps in the city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire. Either plan out an escape or run out now. If we run out now, I feel like we'll lose half of our supplies. But if we plan out an escape, we might get hurt. Hopefully somebody's got a good plan. Oh, man. I sucked last time, so... See what happens. She tries to keep calm, observant. She keeps very calm. Composure is revealed. She plans a fast way out. They leave unhurt. The group gets away. The group eats a decent meal. All right, cool. All right, what else we got? The group finds a street in the town that there's traps all over it. Pits with blankets put over the top. Snares everywhere. Spikes on a barrel. A door with an obvious guillotine over it. And these are just the visible ones. Send a scout to explore the loot. Uh, you have good composure. You want to stay level-headed and get us something? Oh, awesome. She starts scavenging through the town, avoiding traps to the best of her ability. She is careful about where she's going, but any traps are spotted and set off safely. Alright, we got some medical, ammo, and food. Nice. Oh, cool. And I got fully healed. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade, with preserved food being the new currency. Let's go to the trading camp, see if there's anything good. What do you got? He's got shotgun shells. I don't even have a shotgun, so no thank you. 
Uh, ooh, that's a mirror. Steal your ammo. He wants me out of the house, so. Get his ammo, though, that's nice. But I feel like that is gonna be no. I feel like there's some trick there that like it won't actually be a good weapon or something if you get four of them for five food. I'm not gonna risk it. There's a dog wandering nearby. It keeps its distance, but watching the group with guarded interest, it becomes rare to see a dog that trusts people. Let's recruit the dog. The group lures Clarissa over with food. She knows a good source of meal when she sees it and decides to stick around. Ah, uh, all right. I've got a dog on my team now. I'm unstoppable. That's not a random person, though. It's a dog. The group is about to explore a small house when they notice a horde is creeping nearby. The group will have their ground for a bit before they... Or hold their ground before they can escape. One hour. They have to do this. All right. I can give the dog something. Um, I... I'm going to give the dog my bat. Although... It, I feel like last time I gave a dog something, it just dropped it. So I'm not going to do that, actually, because I like that bat. All right. Ooh, dang. Apparently the dog doesn't need anything. It seems to be kicking butt just fine on its own. Uh, yeah, you guys want to help me out here? I'm over there taking out the zombies, and they just stand with their backs turned. The other one's attacking. Get all wore out. Might as well uh, go through the house and oh, that's not what I meant to do. And now she has my bat. Thanks a lot. How oh, cool, meat cleaver! I want that. Uh, what is this? I'm holding a spatula. Is doing absolutely nothing. Just want the meat cleaver. There we go. Holy crap, she just went through and cleared all those people out. Oh, there are a lot of zombies in here now. Let's see if she's ever gonna escape. If we could get to the door, we could. Holy crap, she is just clearing them out with that bat. I'm okay with her taking my bat now. Yes, let's go. Alright, that worked out better than I thought it was going to. My weapons are a lot cleaner than they should be. I don't know why, because we seem to be carrying a lot of weight. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Morale and random skill gain. Morale and one health. Claris. Uh, faster speed run or medical. Let's do morale and random skill. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Morale, let's see, shooting, shooting, and mechanical. Alright, I'll take some shooting since I got the gun. The group is sitting around a campfire, resting before the brutal day tomorrow. The group eats a decent meal. Let's just go to sleep. The group hears a big crash noise coming from a nearby house. Go investigate in the middle of sea of destruction, furniture, and zombie gore is the world's famous wrestler, El Satan. He is currently pile driving a zombie while yelling pile driver at the top of his lungs. Uh, yes, I'm going to recruit him. Well, Satan strikes pose, or strikes his patent dramatic pose, then says, yeah, sure, I'll join. Oh, he's got good strength and fitness. All right. group runs into a horror zombies. They're completely docile, just waiting outside a shop in a big single file line. Every zombie is staring straight ahead. You can send someone to join the line to solve this mystery. It looks like it could be a long wait. Um, new guy. Go see what's up. 
patiently waits in the long line. It moves forward very slowly, but he calmly waits it out. Oh, he's got really good composure. That's good. The shop is a trendy upscale grocery store. Most of the fancier items have rotted to mush, or mush, but there's still some loot. Dang. All right. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We go to uh, Pepper Cabin or Riled Up House. I don't really want to go mess with a bunch of zombies right now. Even though it's kind of the point of this game, I know. But it's early on and survival is key right now. Let's see, he has nothing. What do you have? I haven't seen you use that, so I'm going to give it to him. Oh, wait, I gotta do this. And you can have that bat and your racket. You have both sports equipment. Let's give him the rubber mallet and let's do this. All right, here we go. Where's this cabin? Oh, there it is. Probably should clear out a few of these zombies before I go in, though. That way they don't come and get us trapped on the back. Dude, these guys are just totally ignoring them right now. Alright, let's take them out, guys. Where's the entrance to the cabin? Oh, there we go. Oh god, there's a lot of stuff in here. What? I don't want to pick up the femur. Jeez. I'm just trying to open the drawer. Ooh, rusty machete. I will take that. What do we got in here? Yeah. Machete's making quick work of them now. Alright, looks like nothing else in here. Any other decent weapons? A Molotov. Every game I've ever tried to use one of those and I just seem to screw it up somehow. I always, like, hurt myself. I've just learned to stay away from those. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I got a pretty good, strong team. Found a lot of ammo and food. Our gas is going to be what kills us, though. If we don't get gas this next stop, we're in huge trouble. All right, well, I think I am going to end this off here. Thank you so much to those who stuck around for the journey so far, and uh, I will get part two up shortly. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.